How you doing guys? My name is Lee. I'm Scott. We're here at Sunny Coast Empire A1 on another Blaster Review video. And on today's episode, we have got the 92 SKD Beretta. Let's get into this one. Right guys, so in the box, we have the body of the breader itself, little ammo storage container, iPro, always have your iPro, mm -hmm. magazine, a little end cap, so you can cover the uh, red with black, your torch, we'll get more to this later, uh, gels, charging point, a USB charger, and some instructions. Mm. So, we'll, I'll chuck it together. Yeah. Yeah. How would you run this blaster, Scott? So, best part about the Beretta is 14 volt option. So, yes. under here, you got off, on, and 14 volt. So, flick it over to 14.8, slide it on. We usually see torches on a real one. Yep. Um, you can have a, like a torch, or it goes to off, or the middle one is on. Once it's engaged onto on, Nice high Ooh, fire rate. That's pretty damn quick, so, isn't it? So, yeah. yeah. So, twice as fast as your 7 volts. You can yep. still run it on a 7. Yep. Um, like your Glocks. Yep. Um, you have your Mag Prime. I'll put something in it. And just um, for anybody curious as to the FPS that this blaster is hitting as well, I'll let you know right here. We can just zoom in on that. We've got your average there at 144 FPS. So, yep. Very nice, as you can see there, that's out of um, a few different shots. So we've got max 153, minimum 118, average 144. That was using some so, of the older milkies I had from yep. last um, urban game. Yeah, so, so very nice little blaster out of the box. Yep, so Mag Prime. That's on 14 volt as well. On 14, so. Nice, nice wrap to it, or slow single fire. Yep. So change with your button. Yep. These would be awesome in uh, CQB areas. Yeah, so definitely. just that little rate of fire to Yeah, there's lay a few out guys gels. running those at Urban Gel Ball just simply running that by themselves. Yeah. And they're actually quite effective. So at least yeah. you know, if you are afraid of the dark, oh, yeah, you've you got can your torch. Yeah. put it on. So shout out to you, Chris. So that's how I'd run it. Awesome. Well, let's jump into the rating system, Scott. Yep. As we do with all our blasters here at M4A1. Um, let's kick it off. Yep. Uh, we rate our blasters over four categories out of ten in each category. First one, we'll go with looks. Scott, what are um, you going to rate this blaster? Well, Chris was meant to be here as well, yep. but he had to run. So yep. he gave it a nine for looks. Yep. Um, he was shaking like a little puppy, that excited to get a hold of this. Yep. Uh, I don't think he let it go for a, a while. Yep. Um, so he rates it a nine. I'm going to rate it an eight five. Yep. Uh, really nice markings yep. on your your grip, your, your logo. You actually got Beretta along here. Yeah. So I'll do an eight five. Uh, yep. Short fight on the torch as well. Yep. So, what are you gonna rate it? Yeah. Oh, for myself. Um, yeah. Look, as far as pistols go, I'm pretty well in love with this one, especially with that rate of fire. But we're getting off uh, topic there. Uh, looks wise, I give it a solid nine as well. So solid nine out of ten. Very happy with the look of this blaster. Um, all right, well, I'll grab my own. Well, okay. <laughs> um, well, next one, we'll go with firepower. Scott, what are you going to rate this blaster uh, on seven and then through to 14? So, two ratings. Compared to just any other pistol, really, uh, well, on a seven volt, yep. uh, I'll give it an eight. Yep. Uh, on 14 volt, compared to any other pistol, I'll give it a straight 10. Yep. The rate of fire is what makes this little sucker oh. stand out. Yep, 100%. Um, I love that rate of fire. The fact you still have a torch yep. or daisy chain it from, so it's two seven batteries, so it's twice as long. Yeah. So if you're playing your bigger games, just daisy, daisy chain the sucker on mm. and you can play for a lot longer. Yep. Yeah, so. for myself, again, on your seven volt uh, with the rest of the uh, pistols out there, I'm going to give this around that, yeah, seven to eight. And uh, exactly the same as Scott, as soon as you put this bad boy onto the 14 volt, um, 10 out of 10. 
Yeah, maybe yeah. even 15 out of 10. Definitely. Go 14.8 yeah, out of 10. 14.8, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so, um, moving right along. <laughs> Modability. What are you going to rate this one out of 10, Scott? I'm not a tech. Yep. So, I don't pull stuff apart. Yep. Um, so for this, oh, pretty much. Oh, I know. Oh, oh, yeah. You've done a lot of work for my stuff, but I won't even push this across your table. Yeah. Uh, I think how it sits. Yep. Um, yeah, I'll just leave stock as it is. So yep. I'm not going to touch it. I'm going to leave it straight on the 14. Yep. Um, if it had a bigger the ability to mod a mag and make a bigger mag. Yep. Um, but I'll say a good six. Yep. Mainly because I won't touch it. I'll just paint it. Yep. Yeah, as a pistol, guys, uh, I'm going to rate this one a zero because I don't mod pistols at all. So you could probably rate it a one to two actually because you can paint the blast or whatever you would like. Um, but as far as pistols go, leave them how they are. You can definitely cut down springs and put them in there. It's not a case of like, if, but if when? it's gonna break, it's just when, and simply the case is more, uh, it's a lot quicker than you would like to think with these blasters. So just leave it as it is. They're super nice. So save your money on morning and buy another one, then dual wield it. That's exactly right. Or put that money into a nice V2 or Gen 8 option and have yep. a nice, nice secondary and a nice primary. Awesome. So, yeah, durability. Last one, Scott. That's yep. right. Durability wise, uh, for myself, I have not run this blaster for too long, so I can't give you a six month overview. But for the short periods that I have had this blaster, yep. I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. It is nice and durable like the old uh, SKD uh, Glocks. Um, they are always the STD, so I'm getting confused. Well, the Glocks, um, yep. the full auto Glocks, um, they are very reliable as long as you treat them right. Use the correct gels, charge your batteries. Yeah, very nice blaster. Don't you gank that. Definitely do not manually rack these blasters back, please, guys. I don't want to be fixing all of these. <laughs> you like, pay for like, an automatic like one, let it, let it do its well. job. That's right. So, yep. um, yeah. For me, Durability, SKD are a great company, make good stuff. Yep. Um, I'll give it a 10 for Durability. I haven't done a multi, multi, multi game thrashing of it. Yep. How I have abused it. Um, yep. I haven't sent it to you yet to fix yeah, it, so it's lasted say, my abuse. Yeah, give it um, to the kids, they'll sort it out. Give it to me and Chris, we'll sort oh, it yeah. out. <laughs> um, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, so I reckon she runs great. Yep. So, um, in conclusion. Yeah, conclusion guys, uh, the best pistol on the market right now. I would say hands down, 14.8 volt option. Uh, very nice piece of gear. Get on down or online or wherever to one of our 15 shops. Yeah. Uh, buy yourself three or four of these, spread them around the family, have a great time in the backyard. 100%, these are excellent. Your kids will love you. Um, and we will love our parents if they buy yeah. some for us as well. So I think, I think I have one ready to go actually. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, but over 30 bucks free shipping. So yeah. while you're there, uh, because it is $120, yep. get some ammo. Yep. So get some Oz gels for it. Yeah. Uh, the uh, super milkies would be great in this blaster. Um, but yeah, we'd love to see you in the shop. So yeah. come on down to Sunny Coast M4A1. Any of our shops, come see the crews there. Uh, always help you out. Answer yep. as many questions as you have. Yep. Um, we are on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram. Yeah. Uh, like. Hit the like, subscribe, the bell yep. so you get notifications. If you don't like, double dislike. Yeah, so always remember guys, stop and think uh, before you go into the public. Lots of kids around, if you are giving the young fellas these things, please educate them onto the proper usage of a gel blaster. Make sure you're wearing your safety equipment. Make sure you're charging your LiPo batteries or whatever style batteries they are in a LiPo safe bag. It's gonna keep you safe. We don't want any houses burning down yep. over Christmas. So. Just please guys, stop and think whenever it comes to anything gel ball related. Hydrate as well, it is getting hot, is there a heat yeah, wave coming? definitely. Um, make sure you camelback, water pack, flask, whatnot, just keep yeah. hydration up. If you notice your mate's not feeling well, yep. a bit woozy or slow on the speech, whatnot, yeah. hydrate them. Get them yeah. down to a cool place, 
you cramp it up, get some magnesium into you, uh, get some hydrolyte tablets into your water as well if you're going out to play your full day events. Yeah. I'm definitely utilising these options, definitely helping me to stay uh, nice and fresh on the game. My so, back's kicking, so. Yep, that's right. And we'll see you next time on one of our review yeah. videos. Yeah, thanks for tuning in, guys. I'm Lee. I'm Scott. We'll see you next time.